Hey everybody, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery. I hope you are doing well. It's early morning, the sun's barely even up. If, if that, uh, it still looks a bit dark outside, but either way, it's time to unload the first gas kiln of 2021. Still sounds weird to say, doesn't it? But uh, either way, it's time. Let's go. All right, here we are in front of the kiln. And uh, before I open the door, just a couple things to note. This kiln is not quite as full as I like my kilns to be, but I had that uh, order for those logo mugs for the North Carolina Supreme Court. Those are in here. Uh, and I had to get those out in a timely fashion so the kiln didn't get quite as full as I would like it to be. But either way, I refired one platter bowl from the last kiln uh, for, the, for my last uh, gas kiln. I have my first pieces in here for my Etsy restock, the first one of 2021 that will be the end of February. I believe it's the 26th if I remember correctly, but anyway, it's the last Friday in February. Uh, I also have a huge planter in here. I don't know, you might have seen pictures before of a huge planter that I made. It was like 50 or 60 pound planter. Uh, it did crack slightly in the bis firing, but I went ahead and glaze fired it anyways. Um, either I'm gonna keep it, it's for my mother-in-law. I made it for her as a gift. Uh, as a housewarming gift for her new place and so it's either for her or I'm gonna keep it and make her another one depending on how it looks I have peeked in the bottom peephole and it is red which is what it's supposed to be I uh, was testing my copper red glaze by spraying it on because there's no way I could pour glaze on that well I mean I guess there is a way but I didn't pour any glaze on that huge planter that's like this big around and like that tall so anyway so I sprayed it on and what I can see in the bottom peephole is red, so that's a good thing. Uh, but I know it's cracked, just how bad uh, it cracked from the bis fire to the glaze fire, I don't know yet. So we'll find that out. Uh, and like I said, uh, I think uh, mugs is pretty much about the only thing that's in here that's uh, new for my restock that's coming in February. But either way, you'll get to see a preview now. So let's go. Oh yeah, that's definitely red. <laughs> Ooh. Sweet. Wow. That's impressive. That is impressive. All right. All righty. So, this platter bowl was the one that I refired from the last fire into this firing. And it did, uh, looks like it developed a few like uh, bubbles in the clay from being refired again. But there was a, uh, a, uh, a blister in the glass that I was trying to get rid of. And it did go away. So I'd say that was a moderate success. Those little bumps, as um, long as I don't see any cracks, I think we'll be good. But uh, the, bl the little blister in the glass went away, which was... Uh, what I was worried about so As you can see it's not quite as full of course this took up a lot of space I actually had to do my post different in the kiln because normally I have a post here a post in the back And then one on each side But in order to get enough space for this to sit in I had to do four posts on the side And then I actually had to do a post in the middle of the planter and I put some wadding down in the hole in the bottom of the planter so that the uh, post that's in the middle would have something to sit on and not just the bottom of the planter. Um, so I'm hoping that didn't cause any problems as well. I'm just trying it out. So uh, here I've done this one time before and uh, just trying it again. So this is my normal like copper red and, and the other colors I do make the cream and the blue on top and then I dip the bottom in the rutile blue. So those are kind of wild kind of funky I got a few more in there like this we'll see what they let's see what they look like <clears throat> in here also is the other half of the order for the uh, candle vessels that I made 
and I can already see red on those, which is good. So, all right, here's my. Uh, I did three of these in the purple and blue and cream, and those look wonderful. Definitely good color. Like I said, I, I hit my reduction at the right point this time, so I'm happy about that. I don't think the pots are really hot. It's just a little cold out. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. All right, so here's the Supreme Court mugs. So basically, I had the, uh, this stamp, I had a few people ask. This stamp I had made before I knew Justin from Justin's Makery. And so this one was made by 4clay.com. Uh, and uh, they did an amazing job because it's a very detailed uh, stamp and uh, my sister-in-law works for the North Carolina Supreme Court and uh, so I made these for for them uh, quite an honor for me to have, uh, be able to make these and uh, they're gonna give them out as gifts and so uh, that's pretty exciting I didn't make these any thicker than my normal mugs and you can definitely tell on a couple of these that they got out around a little bit from that uh, from that stamp or the, the logo being applied and so uh, if you're gonna make uh, medallion or logo mugs like this definitely keep that in mind that you might want to make them a bit thicker um, I did that for my social distancing mugs uh, but when I made these I, I uh, kind of didn't think about that beforehand but they uh, still look great Wow, <laughs> that red ran a lot farther than I was expecting it to. Uh, I mean, it looks cool, but I think I would have liked to maybe have a little bit more of this blue, the rutile blue down here, um, because it was probably dipped all the way up to here, and then uh, a lot of it got covered up. But uh, either way, that's kind of a a new thing just trying it out see if uh, see if people like it or not but I think it's neat to add another uh, another layer of color some depth and the insides on these are red so you get a difference between the inside and the outside so These ran a lot too. I must have put the uh, the glaze on top a bit thick, but they're pretty, that's for sure. Nothing ran off, so that one came close. Nice depth of color in there though. All right, one more of those. Alright, now I got all these candle vessels. So I do have the, the blue with the ash clays and then I have my uh, copper red and blue and cream with the ash clays on those but the red ran so much that I uh, don't really see that. Alright, not that I don't care about these candle vessels but we're gonna speed through this part so that I can get these out so we can look at that because I want to see that and so do you I was just curious, I didn't measure. So I basically had a post that was 19 and a half inches tall. <laughs> Pretty crazy. 
So I got the one in the middle and the bottom is cracked. It's not good. I don't know if it cracked because of that post in the middle or that's probably why, but uh, either way it is. So in the future, I definitely have to figure out a different way to stack the kiln if I'm gonna fire one like that. Um, I wasn't confident in putting this up on a shelf. That's why I put it on the bottom. Um, still sounds solid, so I, it's not cracked as far as in the cooling. It cracked uh, basically before, uh, before that quartz inversion, before it became, you know, uh, hardened or the glass melt or the glaze melted. So either way, here let's pull it out. Yeah, definitely cracked the bottom. <laughs> but it's still solid in the sense that it uh, it's not going to crack more. You can see the rim that was cracked here. I may have to take some pictures, but you can see the rim that was cracked there before. And there's a couple other places. The, the cracks in the rim are from uneven heating during the bisque because I bisque fired into my gas kiln. And I think I had it, uh, I'm not sure exactly why that did that in the bisque. But either way, super happy. Oh, there's one spot that's not red. That's kind of cool though. I like that. Either way, got mostly red. And that's what my mother-in-law wanted, so. I'm excited about that. All right, let me go set this down. All right, there we go. Wrapping up the first uh, gas kiln unloading of 2021, and it was a good one. Uh, I'm definitely very happy with the colors, everything that came out. Uh, don't love the cracks in the planter, but uh, I knew some of those were there already, and I think the ones in the bottom are from the way it was stacked. And so next time, either I have to make a smaller planter or uh, figure out a way to stack it differently uh, and maybe just put the planter on top instead of in the bottom. I was just concerned about the weight on those shelves, which I shouldn't be, but uh, you know, we, it's all things that we think about as potters when you're loading a kiln with something that size. So uh, anyway, thank you all for your support. Uh, 2020 was a great year. Uh, I, I really appreciate all the support that you guys showed me on YouTube on uh, Instagram, on my Etsy sales. It was just, it was a great year with all things considered and looking forward to 2021 being even better. I'm excited to already have some pots uh, fired for my restock in February and I'll get uh, busy making those as well as uh, pots for the wood kiln. And that's uh, the firing for my wood kilns coming up in March. So uh, got a lot to work towards this year and I'm excited about it. And um, thank you to all my patrons who support me on Patreon. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate your continual support every single month. Uh, that is, is a blessing to me and it helps me. I've already upgraded a few things in my studio, which I'll show you later. Upgraded some lighting uh, and some other things. And so I'm excited about that. And that is, is uh, largely due to the support that people give me on Patreon for me to decide, hey, these people are supporting me for me to be able to upgrade things to make better quality videos. And so uh, I don't feel quite so bad taking the money to do that when I know people are, are supporting me like that. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you haven't, uh, hit, a, hit a thumbs up on this video. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when there's new videos coming out. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, if you want to see more video uh, and, and content like this. So, and uh, all the throwing videos that I'll do this year, I'm excited about it. So anyway, see you guys soon. Bye.